In my county, we get to elect judges and stuff like that. You know, when you get arrested, that person you go stand before in those black robes. Well, here in my county, we elect those people. And so it's very important that I turn out to vote for that very reason right there. All right. So um, speaking of Mitt Romney, here's a story. I didn't plan on talking about it, but I will. Um, Somebody posted this to Facebook earlier uh, talking about social networking site explodes with assassination threats against Romney. So anyway, um, you know, some people on Twitter have been saying some stuff. Uh, here's a couple of examples that they listed. I'm not even going to uh, say the people's name, but uh, says if Romney wins, I'm going to shoot his ass. It's going to be another JFK incident. Another person says Romney is trying to ban Tom tampons. Oh, my God, I'm not even kidding. Someone go with me so we can shoot him dead. Uh, another person, if I could, I would murder Mitt Romney. Okay, now the person that posted this, I suspect that they may be a black Republican, black conservative, and I really don't understand how you can be a, a black Republican. Um, I, I don't. I, I can't understand that when they're actively, actively now out there trying to stop black people and Hispanic people from voting, trying to disenfranchise you, and you can just look over that. Uh, nah, nah. I, I, I just really, I mean, you can have conservative values. Many black people have conservative values don't mean you got to join the Republican Party, and I'm not suggesting that the Democrats are, are even are um, any better. Um, one thing I do know, they care about you voting, and that's usually because you tend to vote for them. Uh, but I, I just can't understand how anybody can be a black Republican uh, today. You know, you can have conservative values and, and, you know, there are other parties out there, third parties out there that uh, uh, express conservatism. And again, that's not, you know, nothing foreign to black people. A lot of black people don't support gay marriage. A lot of black people um are very conservative in, in their views. They, you know, not that the Republican Party has a lot on family values and, and stuff like that, but I mean, it, that's a universal value in my opinion. So anyway, I just thought it was interesting that a person would post this. And so I, um, it came to my remembrance that in 2011, there was a federal court case where where uh threats made to President Obama were found not to be illegal. Okay. Um here's a couple of the messages that this guy um his name was Walter Bagdasarian. I don't I never seen a last name like that. Bagdasarian is his last name. Here's some of the stuff that he posted on Yahoo Message Boards. Obama the nigger, he will have a fifty cal in the head soon. Uh, he's in another one. He says, shoot the nigger. And here's on uh, yet another uh, here. The meaning of the words is absolutely. No, that's not his message. OK, that's something with the judge. But a three judge panel and this kind of blew my mind. A three judge panel of the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals concluded that the statements posted by this man did not constitute a true threat to President Obama even though he was later found by the Secret Service to have six firearms in his home, including a 50 caliber rifle. Now, I don't know um, how many people out there know what a 50 caliber rifle is. I had the opportunity during my military service to uh, use 50 caliber machine guns, but those bullets are huge. I mean, those bullets look like little miniature uh, uh, bottles or something, like a little Coke bottle. I mean, they are huge. And I couldn't believe they even had us going out to qualify with that. I mean, as soon as you hit the target, the whole target is freaking gone. That's how much damage uh, that a 50 cal can do. But apparently this guy had a 50 caliber rifle. I think those are used to hunt elephants or something like that. But the court said that although he was found to own a 50 caliber rifle, there was no evidence that his statements could be reasonably interpreted to constitute a real threat to President Obama and that the federal statute does not criminalize predictions 
or exhortations to kill or injure a presidential candidate. Now, this is why he was running in 2008. And I, I mean, I'm like, you know, I mean, these people, these judges, um, you know, when they take off the black robes, they must put on some white robes. I ain't never heard of no crap like that, that you can just threaten to kill anyone. And you're talking to a person who has been charged with communicating a threat. All right. I, I was found guilty, but because of my alleged victims getting up in my face in the courtroom to try to provoke me, the judge threw out, threw out my conviction right then and there because he saw what they was trying to do. And again, that's why it's important that I vote to elect judges like that. All right. And, and so, um, I mean, all I told the person was, if you didn't leave my children alone, if you don't leave me alone, then I might kill you. And they reported me. I got arrested. So how can you make a threat on a presidential candidate in this court? Fine. Well, of course, uh, you know, look at President Obama's skin color. That should all that should be all you need to know. But um, so, again, I don't see why they crying about Romney uh, getting these threats because as I pointed out to that person and he didn't seem too happy about it is that, you know, well, Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals said that's protected speech. So cry me a freaking river. You know, not that I care. It's long, you know, it could be Republicans. Anybody can get on Twitter and make a profile, not use their real name and post anything they freaking want to. How do I know this isn't some kind of GOP operations to garner sympathy uh, for the clown they call Mitt Romney? So I'm just not buying that. All right. So, uh, yeah.